Good day, I'm going to show you how to plan and fly a mission with a professional VTOL drone. So how do you operate such a complex system? There are a few things to consider, of course, and there's a great technical manual that has all the details, but overall it's actually pretty simple. So we're already looking at the ground station software right now, showing us where the aircraft is located. Now, I'm going to place some waypoints. T means takeoff, and I'll add some more and I can edit the altitude right here. Now, there are some special options, like this grid tool, for example. It will generate a flight path to automatically survey a certain area. And the software gives me many options to adjust the path generation. Anyway, let's delete this for now. There's also the corridor tool. It's similar, but made to inspect roads, power lines, train tracks, etc. And it will generate flight paths along them. But for now, let's just go with a short trip around the field. So I place a couple more waypoints. And then I'll add a landing ray point right here where we started. Okay, that's it. We're ready to go. I could now hit this button to upload my path to the aircraft, but let me just show you one more nice feature. So let's say I accidentally placed this waypoint way too low, like 10 meters instead of 50, and I try uploading. The software does some automatic checks for me. I get a warning about the path being dangerously low in this area, and the elevation profile also shows that. So let's correct that and hit upload again. This time it's all right. Okay, let's hit the start mission button. The aircraft takes off. So what happens next? First, the aircraft will climb straight up to the altitude we have defined here. So it's 35 meters and we can monitor the altitude right there. Once it has reached these 35 meters, it will automatically transition to airplane mode. Right now it's in copter as we see here. And as the transition happens, we see the airspeed increasing. And we can actually monitor many more things in this primary flight display, like the orientation and the heading and so on. Down here, by the way, we have a display of many more telemetry data. And the nice thing is that I can customize that. Let's say, for example, I don't want to see the pitch right here, but I'm interested in the roll. So I can change this and it will display that one. It's doing its automatic mission right now, but what if I have spotted something over here, for example? I can click there and the aircraft will approach the new target. There are some other options, like changing the altitude, for example. Let's put that to 100 meters for now. Once it has reached that location, it will just circle around it until I tell it to do something else. All right, the airplane is now circling around the target location. And this, by the way, is what the live video looks like. But we'll make another video that covers that in more detail. So for now, let's click on resume. And remember that before I interrupted the automatic mission, the airplane was approaching this waypoint number four right here. And that's exactly where I'd set it now. I could have selected another waypoint though, like number six or number three, for example, so I can fast forward to a certain point or I can even go back and repeat parts of the mission. We will just follow the path for now and you see how the aircraft is already descending as it approaches the landing point. Some other features we could use are return home or land right here or the hold function, which will tell the flight controller to keep flying, but stay at the current position and wait. So it's doing the back transition and you see how the airspeed is going down. And it will now automatically stop until it hovers exactly above our landing point. And only then it will initiate the final descent in the copter mode. 
So now we see the altitude decreasing. From here, it's just a vertical descent again. And that's it.